Welcome to another shave here in the Soap Thing Project. You know something, in some of my early videos on the Soap Thing Project, I used to do a lot of themed shaves. You know, I'd do a 1960s style shave or a 1980s style shave and try to make it kind of as legit as possible. I really miss those kind of videos. I can't do that too much because my collection here in Turkey is about a fraction of the size as the one I have in the States. But I think this time I managed to pull something together that would qualify as a themed shave. Let's talk about it. For the shaving soap, I'm gonna use grooming department, jasmine and civet. This uh, has quite a few notes that would have been in 1980s fragrances. It's got jasmine, rose, mimosa, myrrh, incense, and civet. We'll talk about civet more during the shave. Wow, it's good stuff though. I love it. I definitely love me some shaving soaps that stink. Let's put it that way. Speaking of stink, I'm going to chase it with the Quorum Aftershave. This has been used a lot on the project. Well, I'm going to keep using it because it keeps on smelling good. So that's a good enough excuse for me. It's a barbershop fougere, kind of a rough around the edges one, if I'm being honest, but it's good stuff. The razor, this one I'm, I'm curious to try. This is a Gillette Track 2. And this is not the first one I've owned. I have a couple in my collection back in the States. One of them is my birth year, 1989. This one is an F3 date code, which is third quarter 1985. And you can find the date codes by looking right here on either side. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's kind of small. But these Track 2 razors do have date codes. So do the Atra razors. The story of the Track 2 is it is Gillette's first attempt at a cartridge razor. The Gillette Techmatic notwithstanding, that piece of crap, this is Gillette's first attempt at doing cartridges. This was initially released in the early 1970s. And this evolved into the Atra razor, which evolved into the sensor, which evolved into the... I believe it was the Mach 3, and then you had the Fusion, and yeah, that's kind of how Gillette has evolved their cartridge razors. The thing I'm really curious about this is that this is a 1985 vintage cartridge without any lubricating strip. Let me see if I can find one that is what they would look like now. Here we have one right here. This is what the Gillette Track 2 cartridges currently look like. This is what they used to look like. No lubricating strip. So this is definitely a good excuse to have an actual shaving soap, tallow base soap in the uh, grooming department, Jasmine and Civet. I'm gonna circle back to this just for a second. This is $27 for four ounces. Quite the expensive little turd, if I'm being honest. But what are you gonna do? That's just, that is what it is. Okay, now the brush it is going to be from Rudy Vey. This is my 22 millimeter fake horn Mula synthetic, 22 millimeter knot. I suppose a uh, fake tortoise shell would have been more along the lines of what would have been popular in the 80s, but this is what I got, so this is what I'm gonna use. Okay, let's pull this stuff together and let's do it. Okay, 24 hours growth on the face today. A little less growth than I would have wanted, but it's the end of the weekend, I figured squeeze in a shave. That way I don't have to make the video during the week. So, and the uh, 
grooming department, Jasmine and Civet, such as it is, has a scent strength in the Prairie Shavery Bowl of... This one's pretty gnarly. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 on the Sniffometer. <laughs> Definitely strong stuff. <clears throat> okay. Let's put it on the face. Definitely not a super impressive soap for the price. I was a little disappointed the first, well, five, six, ten times I used this. It's just like, seriously, like 27 bucks, this is, this is the best it can do. Anyway, I'm not trying to ruin your day, let's just move on. Smells good though, I'll give it that. So for the notes, actually before I start talking about the notes, here's the razor. A Gillette Track 2 cartridge that is older than me and no lubricating strip. Hopefully it's still sharp. That's the, all I can say about that. Okay, here we go. And it is perfectly fine after all these years. That is insanity. Okay, let's keep going. So, like I said before, jasmine, rose, mimosa, myrrh, incense, and civet. So what I get out of this is mostly jasmine, rose, and civet and a tiny bit of incense. Everything else is invisible. So this one's actually pretty easy to pick apart. What does that mean though? Well, what is civet? For those who don't know, it is, te the technical term for it is civet musk. And it is an oil that comes from the, more or less, comes from the anal glands of the civet cat And historically, in fragrances, it was used. It was used as a musk type aroma, but it was also used to kind of tone down and kind of restrain other very powerful notes. At least from my uh, the reading I've done. The civet cat that produces the civet musk is actually the same cat that makes Kopi Luwak, the most expensive coffee in the world. Kopi Luwak is the world's most expensive coffee, though for some it falls under the category of too good to be true. In the Sumatran village where the beans are grown lives a breed of wild tree cat. These cats eat the beans, digest them, and then defecate. The villagers then collect and process the stools. It is the combination of the beans and the gastric juices of the tree cat that give Kopi Luwak its unique flavor and aroma. You're shitting me for whatever that's worth. Okay, let's uh, do the relather. Oh, these blades, I'm kind of pissed that I decided to use this vintage, this vintage Track 2 blade because I'm telling you right now, these are even better than the new ones. And it's not even about the fact that it doesn't have a lubricating strip, which is nice. It's letting the soap do its thing. It's a better feeling blade which is just weird. I don't know, cost cutting measures, I guess. I don't know why else it would not feel as good today. Okay. So what does this soap actually smell like? Well, it's musky 
and kind of funky floral from the jasmine. It's got this kind of old timey, not quite fuddy duddy kind of facet to it. Jasmine will tend to do that. And slightly smoky from the little bit of incense that I get. I mean, that's, that's what I got out of this. But given what's in it, I really do believe that people from the 80s probably would have loved this, especially if you like Koros, because Koros has, I'm pretty sure, has jasmine and civet in it as well. Okay, this is a close shape. Wow, this is impressive. Very nice. Good residual slickness on the soap. Okay. I'm trying to figure out when to stop while I'm ahead. I think that's good enough. Wonderful stuff out of the Gillette Track 2. Oh, that was satisfying. I'll tell you what. Okay. Time for the quorum after shave. Once again. Good stuff. Oh, yes. I'm telling you, I was born about 15 years too late. At least as far as uh, smells are concerned. But then, knowing how the Everybody talks about the 80s, probably the reason they had such strong fragrances is because everybody was smoking and all hopped up on cocaine and they probably couldn't smell anything. <laughs> so, wow, feels good, smells good. Let's talk about my final thoughts on grooming department, Jasmine and Civet. Is this something I could recommend for a purchase? Absolutely not. And I'll tell you why. Number one, it's way too expensive. $27 for four ounces, and in my opinion, it's not even as good as CK6, which is also overpriced. Another reason I can't recommend this is because so rarely can you actually find their stuff on their website. Like the grooming department website, I've looked at that website off and on for almost two years, and very rarely have I ever seen a single product in stock. It's just like a list of everything sold out. Come on, that's unacceptable, all right? If you can't have at least one or two products in stock at all times, I'm talking shaving soaps, for somebody who wants to discover your brand, if you can't have at least one of those in stock at all times, you need to do something else because what you're currently doing is not working. Okay, this is, that is just, that's... A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit. That's exactly what it is, okay? Thank you for that. So, I cannot in good faith recommend any scent from this brand because, I'm sorry, they're just not doing it right. And I don't care what excuses people want to make, that is not acceptable. I, I'm sorry, it's just not. So I will happily use this wonderful smelling stuff. And when I run out of it, I probably couldn't buy any if I wanted to, but even if I could, I wouldn't because I'm sorry, no. That's my thoughts on grooming department, Jasmine and Civet. Questions, comments, gripes, complaints, bitches, and everything else you're gonna say about it, put it right down there in the comment section of the video. I wanna thank everybody for watching and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, Shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.